back to our channel. Welcome back to our kitchen. Welcome back to our lives. Once again, you're in the kitchen cooking with Ellen J. I'm Lee. And I'm James. And today, as you've already read by the title, we're making banana pudding. Yay. Yes, banana pudding. Who doesn't love banana pudding? Mm. It's a familiar dessert, typically associated with uh, Southern American cuisine. And I'm sure everybody has their own version, but we're going to be teaching you our version of banana pudding. How about that? Sounds good. Sounds good? Sounds you good. Ready? Oh, they ready. You guys ready? They ready. So with that being said, we're going to get right into the ingredients and show you what we got on deck. Stay tuned. I'm back with the ingredients for our banana pudding. Yes. With topping, we have jello, vanilla flavor. We have one block of cream cheese. Sweetened condensed milk, mm -hmm. vanilla wafers, yes. chessman cookies, Pepperidge Farm. I don't know if anybody else makes chessman cookies, but Pepperidge Farm. Yes. <laughs> we have three cups of milk and we have our bananas. Mm -hmm. Those are all the ingredients that we need for a terrific, fantastic, oh, I can't <laughs> wait for this thing to get done. But uh, my wife's gonna get to it right now. She's gonna whip this thing together real quick. So is. Because it does go, it does go fast. It's it's not a complicated uh, uh, deal putting all these ingredients together and making your uh, banana pudding. So let's get to it. All right. Hi, and I'm ready to start. All right. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add our cream cheese, the whole stick, and we've let this get soft. So this is a softened brick of uh, cream cheese. Let's break that right in there. And as you can see, it's nice and softened. I'm going to scrape as much of that off as I can. Sweetened condensed milk in the whole can. Now this recipe is very rich, but it's not overly sweet. It's gonna seem like, oh, this is a lot of sugar you're putting in here. When you see everything come together, but it, it really is not overly sweetened. It's not like you're gonna bite in it and say, oh my gosh, this is really sweet. It's really rich. So. Yeah, when you look at all the ingredients, it does look like it's a pretty sweet dish. Okay. And I got my little electric mixer here. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work the rest of this off. Actually, mm -hmm. a quick trick, right? Yep. My husband taught me just put it on low real quick. Mm -hmm. Try to be daredevilish here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's our first step. Next, we're going to prepare the pudding followed by the, the, the box version. The box recipe was one large box of vanilla instant pudding by Jell-O mm -hmm. and three cups of milk. We're actually using 1% milk, but you can use whatever milk you like. So it's three cups into one large box of vanilla instant pudding. Okay. And I'm gonna just use the hand mixer because this doesn't take long to thicken up at all plus I'm gonna let this rest while I'm cutting the bananas and it'll thicken up even more so it'll really the 
takes too long, I might switch over to the electric mixer. <laughs> so how long do you think you have to mix before it's uh, ready? Um, it says two minutes on the box. Okay. Hopefully we won't have um any issues like we did when we made that giant Twinkie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how many of you guys, <laughs> comment down below if you guys watched the Twinkie video and we had a small mishap with the cream. Well, we're following the instructions on this one, so. <laughs> we should be good to go. I can feel it thickening up now. Okay, good. And as you can see, it's already thickened up. Just like that. It doesn't take long at all. So now I'm going to take our cream cheese and sweet and condensed milk. And add that to the mixture. Tell you what, I can't remember the I think the last time we had banana pudding was Thanksgiving? Uh, I think so. Thanksgiving? Actually, my daughter made it. My youngest daughter made it, and it was delicious. It sure was. But the thing about banana pudding, I don't know if you all realize it, it's not a, a dessert that you can rest for days and days. <laughs> no. Like after the third day, by the third day, if you don't eat that banana pudding, at least I don't eat it. Because mm. it gets a little soft and <clears throat> the bananas start looking crazy. Yeah. So, but this doesn't last more than three days in this house, so we're good. That's all right. It came up just in time. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> and that's that. You don't need the mixer anymore? No, sir. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick pause real quick. And we're going to get into cutting up the bananas next, okay? okay. So please stay tuned. The next step. All righty then. We got about six bananas here. small, you know, not too thick, but whatever your preference is. How many layers do you plan on having? Um, probably about two. Okay. Two layers, because I'll be using a 9 by 13, 9 by 13 pan, mm -hmm. so two layers is good. Okay. We'll start off with a layer of cookies and then a layer of bananas and pudding and then repeat those steps. It goes by pretty quick. I don't know if you guys know this, but they have something in Centerville, Tennessee called the Banana Pudding Festival. They do. It happens the first weekend in October, and it's a two-day event. And people come out to taste banana pudding. I thought that was rather interesting. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. So I think it's something that's worth checking out. Yeah. Y'all like my red knife? Yeah, yeah, pretty. We fancy on here. That's a girly knife. <laughs> So guys, if you have not done so, oh, yeah. please, if you like this video, hit that subscribe, mm -hmm. give us that fat thumbs up, oh, yeah. share the video, and comment for us. Will you do that for us? We appreciate it so much. Right now, we got our bananas cut up the way we want them. We're going to start layering this. I'm going to grab my little spatula. Like I said, I got about a nine and a half by 13 pan. So we're gonna start layering um, our banana pudding. So I have two types of cookies here. And typically people will use vanilla wafers, but we like the chessmen. It's just an added layer of flavor. And we like a lot of cookies. We don't want no soggy, soft banana pudding. So it's just like that. We're just layering. Chestnut cookies, I'll tell you, they're so good. They're buttery, crunchy. Yeah, they are good. They're very good cookies. I mean, 
I actually like these better than the vanilla wafers, but I like the combination of it as well. That's how we usually do it. So we just land it, as I said, land out those cookies. And I have another bag. I'm so grateful that my husband bought two because I don't even think I told him he buy two bags. And he did. So kudos to you, babe. Thank you. So that's our first layer. We're gonna take our vanilla wafers. Let's do it again. And we're probably gonna speed this up as well. This is funny. This is the first time I've seen this being made. Really? I think you just wait for somebody to make it, then eat it. As you can see, we've got our layer in here. <laughs> it's okay. Got our two layers. I'm working on, I'm almost done with the second layer. We got our first layer, cookies, um, bananas and pudding. Then we're doing cookies again. Now I'm going to do the last layer of bananas. It's a process, but <clears throat> it's typically, um, it goes pretty quick. I wanted to also make mention that there's two ways that you can make banana pudding. You can cook your pudding. Cook your pudding, old-fashioned way. I know somebody, um, one of our church members, who makes a very, very delicious banana pudding. But uh, she makes it homemade, homemade pudding. She makes it. 
and uh, you can go that route. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Again, this is how we do it over here, but if you want to learn how to make it homemade with homemade cooked pudding, you know, leave a comment. We'll be happy to look into it and make that for you. But the instant is quick and it tastes just as good. I think most people actually use the instant. Now, would you consider adding anything else to this? As far as uh, something to, you know, kick up the flavor a little bit. No. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I, I think the only thing that will make this better is if you made it homemade. Okay. Homemade pudding. Okay. But, um, no. Okay. Well, that's a good question. Mr. Russell Deviator. <laughs> Topping, and we're back on our final layer. Yay. Our whipping cream. Just gonna pop that on here, like so. Spread that all around. I already tasted this pudding, and it is so good. Step, there's only one thing left. What's that? Those cookies. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna pretty it up. Pretty it up even more. And there's those extra cookies, guys. Gotta make this. See you in a minute. All right, we're and back. We're back with the banana pudding. There it is. Now, unfortunately, you're not gonna see us taste this one. Start to decide. This has to set up. Actually, we're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. Mm -hmm. um, it's late at night right now, so we're gonna let this. We're gonna we're gonna have this tomorrow. We'll have it tomorrow. Yeah. And we'll give it a chance for the pudding to. Um, get absorbed in the cookies, so the cookies will be a little bit more soft than that. But if we break into this right now, it's gonna it's too loose. So we wanna give it a chance to settle. And what you should do the same thing. As good as it looks and as much as we wanna dive in, yeah. we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So <laughs> if you really want the truth of the true fact of how this really how good this really is, guess what? You're gonna have to make it yourself. Mm -hmm. We would not lie to you, trust and believe. This is the bomb. Yep. This is really and truly the bomb. We're yes, not going to uh, steal you wrong. So on that note, I mean, what's left? I can't dance, but I can, I guess what? No? I'll be doing this tomorrow when we eat it. Yeah. <laughs> we eat. Okay. So on that note, people, we thank you for watching. Yes, we do. If you haven't done so already, we'd like you to like, subscribe, share, comment on the video that you just seen. Please do that for us. Thank you. 
We thank you in advance. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Come back and see us on the next time. Join us on the next time. We're going to keep these videos coming. We aim it to please. Comment yep. down below again how we're doing. Give us some feedback. Let us know if you're liking what you see. Would you do that for us? Please do that for us. Yeah. Right? We appreciate you joining us because, again, you do not have to stop here and look at our videos. But, but we're glad that you do. So keep doing it. Yes. So on that note, um, God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. Anything else? It's been fun, but we got to go. All right. We out. It's about 12 what? No, it's, it's 1.30 now. It's 1.21 a.m. <laughs> when we're making this video. But it's all good. It's all good. In case you forgot, cooking is an act of love. So if you don't want to make this for yourself, go make it for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay? Bye.